Hey guys, this is John from waltonsinc.com and this is Meatgistics. Roast beef can be made from eye of the round, sirloin, or even tri-tip. It's a great main meal, but also works wonderful as cold cuts later. We've got a six pound eye of the round with the fat cap still on. Now eye of the round is not as tender a cut as either sirloin or tri-tip, so unless we process and cook this carefully, we could end up with some tough roast beef. We're gonna inject this with a butter flavored soluble seasoning. This is a great seasoning to use on almost any cut of meat. It imparts a great flavor, and I especially like it since it already has phosphates in it, which is gonna help increase the water holding capacity of the meat, which is gonna give us a juicier finished product. Now my injection is a one pound of water and five ounces of the seasoning. The directions say to use this as a 10% pump, but since it doesn't have any cure in it, I'm just gonna pump it until it won't hold any more of my solution. Then I'm gonna rub the outside of it with the prime rib seasoning. I wanna really coat the outside with this since I'm gonna be slicing it super thin and I won't be getting that much of the outside on each slice. It's not gonna matter if I over season it. Next, I'm gonna vacuum pack it and let it marinate overnight. Since it's so large, I'm using one of the VacMaster suction sealers and a vac bag roll. I can create the size bag I need by slicing the roll and then sealing one side of the bag. Then I just place my meat inside and vac seal the bag. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and it'll be ready to smoke in the morning. So I'm ready to put this in the smoker and I'm actually gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna do half in our PK100 with a water pan and set the temperature to 240 degrees and then pull it once it's reached an internal temperature of 140 degrees and maintain that for 12 minutes. That's gonna be enough time to kill off any bacteria at that temperature. I'm also gonna cook the other half in our big smokehouse. Now that has humidity control and I'm gonna post the full smokehouse recipe for that on the Meatgistics article. Then when they're both done, we can compare the two and see if we were able to achieve similar results by just smoking at 240 degrees as we were with a more professional smokehouse. All right, so they're done, they're both smoked. I got them up to 140 degrees. I kept them there for 12 minutes to give us our lethality and they both looked incredible. Great smoke coloring on the outside. That prime rib rub really did give it a nice color. I've sliced into them. They look really nice, a little bit more done than I generally like my roast beef. I tend to like it pretty bloody, but for food safety, we just wanted to make sure that everything was perfectly fine with these. It's sliced up really nice and thin. I can't wait to make some sandwiches out of this. Now I did put a water pan in the PK100 and that definitely helped with the moisture. Like I said in the beginning, an eye of the round can be a little bit of a tough cut to use for roast beef if you're not gonna either A, slice it thin like we did anyways, and then we also did use a marinade that contained phosphates. Helps increase the water holding capacity of the meat and just makes it more tender and gives you just a better finished product. So all in all, I would honestly say we were able to achieve just about the same results on our PK100 as our professional smoker. So if you're looking to make roast beef at home, you can make it just as good as what you buy at the store. You just have to determine what level of doneness you want. I probably would have cooked this to about 130 and left it there if I was making it for just myself. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with waltonsinc.com and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Check out our latest sales and giveaway video here or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.